What is going on everyone and welcome back to SeaWorld. We have done a lot since I was able to, or before I could even actually open the video. And uh, we'll get to all that very quickly, but if you don't know, tonight we are here for SeaWorld's Christmas celebration, which is just kicking off. And if you want, you can come here and check this out. They're running it on the weekends. There's some other stuff that's going on during the week and it's a lot of fun. Let's go check it out. All right, so it's been quite a while since everything has been going on. And here, we have got a lot of food. We're here, they're um, letting us try basically everything. Um, no restrictions, which is awesome. So we can give you a very uh, robust description of all the food. And Taylor's not here today, but Donald is here. Uh, give Kids the World, that's where he was at. He had that amazing speech. I could not top it myself. I'm a terrible talker. Um, but for some food, we've got a few different types of desserts. We've got some loaded donuts. We've got some tacos, um, some cakes, some hot chocolates, some other frozen drinks, all kinds of stuff. There's more to try. Let's do it. All right, so this is the buffalo chicken taco. It's shredded buffalo chicken, slaw, chopped celery, crumbled blue cheese, ranch dressing, and a warm tortilla. Probably not warm anymore. It's been sitting here for a little bit, but let's try it. That is actually fantastic. I would actually go back up and get another one. It's not super spicy. It has just the right amount of like the heat flavor in there. Balanced really well with the blue cheese and the ranch dressing. And nice crunch in there from the celery. All in all, even though it has been sitting here just for a few minutes, it's not super warm. Not on their fault. It is... I'm really glad this was the first thing I tried. Really, really good. So I took one for the team and ate the traditional beef taco because sometimes you've just got to be a little basic. And it's everything you would expect. It's beef, traditional style, with pico de gallo, lettuce, uh, cheese, everything else you would, you know, basically expect in your basic traditional taco. However, I will say, the beef is seasoned really well. It had a lot of flavor to that. Uh, typically, I would want to put a lot of taco sauce on a plain uh, taco, but this one didn't really even need it. it. The beef itself gave it a lot with the peppers and onions seasoned in that it was actually really good. So if you're looking for something a little safer, that's a very plain way to go. All right, so the second thing that we've got here is the battered fish taco. This is a zesty slaw, chipotle aioli cilantro on a warm tortilla. Let's see if I can do this again. Definitely not as good as the buffalo chicken. The fish is so nice and warm. A little bit of crunch from kind of like that fry batter on the outside, mixed with that slaw. Not as much like zestiness as I would have expected. Um, it's almost actually a little bit on the sweeter side. I don't know what that was that I was picking up in there, but uh, I think I would like a little bit more of a punch. But. All in all, I mean, it's still a, a pretty decent dish, you know? It's still good, just I like a little more zest. So here they also have alcoholic beverages, if you didn't know that, it's a big thing at any event, right? Um, and to my surprise, Donald brought this over. It's called a cranberry mule. This is Tito's vodka, ginger beer, and cranberry juice with a splash of lime, but it's not cold. It is served warm, uh, almost hot, and it is... Uh, I feel like saying blissful is like too much, but it is really, really good. It's so good that we were just sitting here discussing and I was like, I think I would like to make this like for Thanksgiving. Um, you don't necessarily need to add the vodka in there to it, but just the flavor profile in there with the ginger beer and the cranberry juice, it's just something different from like a traditional warmer cider uh, that you would normally have. And it's, I'm telling you, it is fantastic. If you like cranberry, ginger beer, Come here and get this. Okay, so another thing that I wanted to try because we can basically just try just about everything we want are loaded donuts. And I think they may have had these last year or at another event, but this is chocolate, caramel, whipped cream, nuts, and a cherry. Uh, now, normally I would never get all of this extra stuff on here, but I figured why not? I will say that they're probably not my favorite, 
and it might be because everything that's on there but if you're a big fan of kind of like that all around like everything the the peanuts and the caramel sauce and the chocolate sauce it's a good combination of flavors for me and my and my like palate i'm always just like a straight powdered sugar donut or just a glazed donut that's just me i'm very basic and simple like that but i think a lot of people would really like this um it's good super sweet donuts uh, are not super dense which i think is really nice they're a little bit on the lighter fluffier side so it's always good so I wanted to try the peppermint frost as well. There are two versions. There's one that's non-alcoholic, which is actually what I have here since I already have the cranberry mule. Um, and it comes in this really cool souvenir cup that you can get this season. So that's fun and festive as well. I, I want this on tap in my house. I'm not sure what's in it because they don't seem to know or won't reveal what's in it, but they call it crushed candy cane and that's pretty much what it tastes like in a smooth smoothie kind of way so yeah i'd like to have this at home all season long uh, you can also get an alcoholic version of that which has a million different things in it including uh, vodka peppermint schnapps obviously and then a white chocolate liqueur which kind of gives it that extra finesse or that elegance for the taste um, but either way alcoholic or non-alcoholic i really if you like mint or if you like candy cane you cannot go wrong with that and as a bonus now my breath is super minty fresh so here at Sesame Street, you can actually see a little show that's done by Elmo and Friends, uh, and they talk about Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, and Christmas. And it's a little cute show. Um, they do keep uh, the guests socially distanced from the actors. And uh, and it's a great place to like see Elmo up on top of the parade float, basically. Um, and it's just a cute kind of thing where they tell you a little bit of backstory about the three different holidays and uh, sing some songs and tunes. So kids will definitely love it. I I actually kind of enjoyed it a little bit, but you know, hey. Alright, so a couple of things about SeaWorld here and the ice skating stuff that I found out is that it's $15 per person and there's an additional charge if you don't have gloves and socks. So make sure that you have those if you're planning to come here and ice skate. Um, when is it open? It opens 30 minutes before the park, or it opens 30 minutes after the park opens every day. But on days when there's not the Christmas celebration, it closes uh, 30 minutes before the park closes. And on days when there are Christmas celebrations, uh, it closes about three o'clock or so. Uh, and I think it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. You get 30 minutes out there on the ice and uh, they had some skaters out there. I don't know if they'll be out there during the regular public skate. Um, and they're kind of out there just to help you if you need help. And they also have the little sea lion things that you can like push around. So if you can't skate really well, it helps you to get off the wall and get a little bit better at it. So pretty cool, we're moving on. So I want to talk a little bit about this new show uh, that they're doing here. I thought it was pretty cute. There's a little uh, nice comedic relief to it with some of the jokes, um, specifically kind of relating to the fact of like this new uh, kind of day and age that we're in with uh, COVID and all that stuff. Uh, it was a good show. I think it was only like maybe 20 minutes long. Again, they are doing the exact same thing that they're doing everywhere else. They're seating every other row. And then they have markers actually on the bleachers to show you um, what six feet is between you and the other party. So really nice. It's a great show. Definitely go check it out. It's kind of a comedic retelling of uh, the nativity scene basically and uh, and the birth of jesus so yeah it was cool uh we're gonna go see if we can find some more food okay so we finally made a stop here as we've made our way around SeaWorld orlando and i have got what have this is probably by far the largest serving of food that i've ever gotten at one of these festivals it's enormous um first thing that we have is the loaded mac and cheese bowl this is bacon and blue cheese mac and cheese and when i say blue cheese it's not like a couple of crumbles they did like almost not an ice cream scoop but it was pretty darn close uh on top of the mac and cheese then of course i cannot do a holiday without doing a traditional thanksgiving -y, christmasy type of deal so we've got the traditional christmas dinner stack this is roasted turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, and cranberry sauce over Texas toast. 
This is a serving that could feed two people easily. It's enormous. All right, so mac and cheese, I mix it together, got all the combination, like got all the flavors in there, but I, I think for me it's still, it's a little disappointing because it's not able, you're not able to really blend it very well in the bowl itself because it's such a large portion. It's a huge portion. So props to SeaWorld for that. But it's like, I'm either getting way too much blue cheese in a single bite or I'm not getting enough, or I'm just getting mac and cheese, or I'm just getting bacon, and it's not like a good mix. And I think it would be a lot better if you could get a really nice thorough mix in there, and then it would probably be a lot better. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, I always do think it's a little bit weird when you mix your cranberry sauce with like your gravy and everything else, but I can get past that fact. One thing that I would change is to not have the brown gravy, because to me it has almost a little bit more of a beef stock taste to it than it has like a regular turkey or like a chicken based gravy. Um, but other than that, it's actually pretty good. And I actually like the Texas toast. It adds a, uh, I almost want to say like a different uh, texture and flavor in there because it's got that garlic almost butteriness to it. Uh, but it's pretty good. Unfortunately, I cannot eat all of it at all. And these are huge portions. So keep that in mind when you come, big portions, bring a hungry, hungry appetite. Ha a hungry appetite? A big appetite? I don't know what I'm trying to say. So, I actually like the mac and cheese a lot. There is something to the fact that you do have to mix it all together, but at the same time, I would prefer it be a little lighter on the blue cheese side, so by having that option, or actually not even that option, just that necessity, I could limit how much of the blue cheese I had and mix in the other flavors. The bacon is phenomenal. The mac and cheese itself, even though the base is just an ordinary mac and cheese, it's a really good mac and cheese. And then it has all the extra cheese that they put on top at the end. So it actually, I thought it had a lot of nice flavors to blend in and a lot of different cheeses to work with. So I'm actually really enjoying it. All right, guys, well, that is going to do it for us here at SeaWorld today. We had a lot of fun. We didn't ride any attractions, but we still had a good time. We ate some great food, and I think what was really nice was having a little contrast between Donald and I, especially the mac and cheese, um, and how he really liked it. I didn't like it. I think that's a good point that sometimes, you know, your palate's going to be different than ours, and just because we say we don't really enjoy it doesn't mean that you want to do it. If you think it's something you want to try, give it a try anyways and just see. So, yeah, great time. Um, Christmas celebration here at SeaWorld is happening on the weekends. Uh, I believe it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, it's a great time. I'm really excited that they have ice skating. I think that's really cool. And uh, if you can get down here and do that, you've never done it before, it's a great place to try. It's a small rink. Um, you don't have to go very far. And there's plenty of people there that are willing to help you. So, cool. Uh, yeah, let us know if you guys plan on coming here for the holidays or... Um, what are you going to be doing for the holidays? And I will see you all in the next one.